Our roots go deep. Is not this a brand plucked from the bird? I felt my heart strangely warmed. At last I know that he has taken away my sins. I know now that I never could have worked out my own salvation. It is a gift, freely bestowed. A gift of the Most High God. My friends, that great gift is mine tonight. Here we are this morning, gathered together from all over the world and from all sorts and conditions of men to celebrate a birthday, our birthday, as the United Methodist Church. For 50 years, we have always believed in God creator of the world. The world is in furious and agonizing turmoil, incomprehensible and unmanageable. And in Jesus Christ, the redeemer of creation. The church is in radical crisis and in the throes of profound demoralization at every level. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight in such times, business as usual simply will not get our business done. We have always believed in the Holy Spirit. There are specific issues coming before the conference. Uh, race and riots, war and peace, ecumenism. I think it's the responsibility of the church to gear itself up to be a part of God's activity in this world. We affirm the natural world as God's handiwork. Let me say that there are a number of us who hope that by the persuasion and coercion and pressure that we can bring to bear, that we can sensitize the minds and eyes and hearts of people by which they can then, in fact, take a decisive action in regards to making this a racially inclusive church. We joyfully receive for ourselves and others the blessings of community, sexuality, marriage, and the family. We commit ourselves to the rights of men, women, children, youth, young adults, the aging, and people with disabilities to improvement of the quality of life to the rights and dignity of all persons. We dedicate ourselves to peace throughout the world, to the rule of justice and law among nations, and to individual freedom for all people of the world. In such times, business as usual simply will not get our business done. Open doors means you are just willing to take your time and do all these wonderful things to help other people. We have to make sure that people without a prayer have one. We will always believe in the present and final triumph of God's Word in human affairs and gladly accept our commission to manifest the life of the Gospel in the world. The United Methodist Church. 50 years of transforming the world.